Teresa Kenny, you're now recognized. Yes, hi, this is Teresa Kennedy, founder of Elder Dignity. Uh, I support open records, fee caps for guardians and attorneys and greater financial oversight. Uh, giraffe is interesting, and depending on who has visibility and what triggers audits. In my aunt's case, Dr. Lily Sykes White, there were over 1,000 pleadings over the eight years of the fraudulent guardianship. This should have been resolved as a simple trust issue, but the estranged granddaughter's attorneys made it a family dispute to bring it under guardianship jurisdiction. I want to read a part of a motion filed by the attorney for the court appointed guardian. It came across my mother's email, but I don't think they intended for my family to see it. There are no names. There have been multiple duplicative and unnecessary pleadings filed. Every time a motion is filed, it is drafted by and ultimately sent to multiple attorneys, all of whom may claim that their work in preparing and or reviewing the motion somehow benefits the ward and that therefore the guardianship and or the trust owes said attorney or attorneys money for preparing, reviewing, responding to, collaborating with others about and or arguing about said matters. As the judge said at the November 2017 status conference, the guardianship and or trust should not be considered to be a cash cow that exists for the benefit of lawyers to receive payments for services that constitute churning and or which primarily benefit the interested party and her attorneys. A month later, the same attorney uh, filed an emergency motion to require parties to mediate. So they wanted all the attorneys to get together to divide my aunt's estate. And she stated that the law firm, basically for the granddaughter and the court appointed attorney had made demands on the guardian's trustee to pay fees out of the monies possessed by Lily's white trust in the amount that thus far collectively equals roughly 30% of the value of the liquid assets of the trust and guardianship. The final amount of these claims will undoubtedly be higher. So these, when we saw this, we, we sent it to the clerk and, and I had a conversation about what triggers an audit and who provides real oversight. This is an example of financial exploitation via vexatious litigation and blatant overspending while my aunt was silenced and isolated from her loved ones. She was treated like a human trafficking victim. We must have transparency, accountability, and humanity in the adult guardianship system. A senior's estate should not be used as a cash cow, and we need greater oversight to prevent that. Thank you. 10 seconds. 